What's up guys, I'm Vern. I'm Henner. Welcome to another edition of Pokeboy Production Channel. So where are we Henner? Fort Lee area? Fort Lee area, yeah. We're here by Mochina, right behind us. They make uh, corn dogs. And mochi donuts. And mochi donuts. And drinks, like bubble tea. Yeah. We made an episode of that, I'll leave it here somewhere. There's no seats inside, so we'll probably try to eat outside. So, Henner, you ready? You hungry? Oh yeah, definitely. Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. Let's go. Alright, there's no seats inside Mochinat, so we're here by the benches. Picked up a bunch of things. Henner got... What is that, Henner? This is the crispy ramen mozzarella. It makes me regret, which I should have gotten the half and half, which is half hot dog, half mozzarella, but hey, it's full mozzarella. I don't yeah, know. I like that it feels good ramen, look at that. Yeah, it's crispy ramen. Crispy ramen, mmm. He's gonna take his first bite with the ramen and the mozzarella. Yeah. I forgot my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Careful. How is it? It's crispy. You no. taste the mozzarella yet? No, not yet. It's somewhere deep in there. See if you get a cheese pull. Almost, almost. Almost. I'm gonna wait until you get one. But you can taste the ramen, right? Yeah. How is it? You like it? So far. Pretty good. So how's it how's it compared to the other places that we've gone to. I think this is more more like a corn dog. It's right? another version of it. Yeah. It's about the same, mm -hmm. but you know. Well, I do see, I, I could see there's a hole in here. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid to say it's a little hollow in here. <laughs> <laughs> Barely any cheese? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. No. Um, the mozzarella, it's spread around it inside. I see. So it's just like a little hollow, so it would be better if it's... Um, I thought they'd the fill it up, you know. I, thought they'd fill it up with all cheese in there. I think halfway down there is cheese because it melted because you're deep frying this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So they probably put like a, a, a stick of mozzarella in here and then it melted as you deep fry it. So I think my recommendation would take the half and half where it has half, uh, half hot dog and half mozzarella so you get, you know, the taste of both worlds. More bang for your buck. Yes, and it's at, funny thing is it's cheaper to have half and half than the, the full <laughs> Full <side>. mozzarella. Yeah. <laughs> all right, at least Hunter likes it. Look at that. I got the Hot Cheetos corn dog. Look at that. Ooh. Brian's gonna take a bite. I got half and half, so just a hot dog in here somewhere. Mm, and good. some cheese. Here we Is go. it in the bottom or in the front? Or in the top or the bottom? It's a good question. We'll see when I get there. <laughs> Taking a bite. My guess is in the bottom. Yep. Mozzarella on top. Yep. Mm -hmm. Could you taste the, the spiciness of the Cheetos? Mm hmm Really spicy? Not too spicy. It's like eating the potato chips. The hot... I, I never really tasted the hot Cheetos before, so... It's good. I like it, actually. Gives it a little kick. Nice. So, you got the spiciness, you got the cheese, and the hot dog. The mm, hot dog's the bottom. Mm. Take one more bite for you. Uh, take a big bite. Mm. <laughs> it's good, right, Vern? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Whoa, that's nice. I did not know it was spewing out as I laid I laid it down on the bench. <laughs> there you go. There's that cheese bowl. Look at that. Oh man. There's the hot dog. Henry was right. It's right at the bottom. I say you get the hot dog and uh, mix it up. <laughs> half half is better. But I like the you get more cheese pulls with the mozzarella. Look at that. <laughs> so we also got some bubble tea. Your usual bubble tea, but the way they make this is they they mix it and they put a 
a soda can top on it, which is quite unique compared to all the other bubble teas we've tasted. Um, I got the, the usual one, the ube slash taro. I don't know what's the difference. <laughs> and me and Lauren were saying it's just it's the same thing because it's the same root kind of a, you know, like a sweet potato, but you know, the name is just different. And Vern got the regular milk tea. Milk tea, but I know he ordered green tea, but I guess the um, lady in the cash register didn't quite hear him properly, so he got regular milk tea. Yeah, just regular milk tea. Yeah, it's made in house, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, I like the cont in the container that they they put it like a, a soda top uh, lid on it. Yeah, we'll try it, see how it is. There's different kinds of flavor there. There's also matcha, right, Henry? Yeah, matcha and green brown tea. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh, there's Thai iced tea yep. and other other flavors in there. So maybe we'll come back for those. But yep. We'll try this. See how their homegrown drink tastes like. Give it a good shake, Henry. That's the ube flavor, right? Yeah. You know we love ube in this channel. <laughs> ube or taro? Taro, ube, matcha. Oh no, is this gonna fizz on me since I shake it? <laughs> <laughs> I shook it. True story, me and Henry were actually looking for this in the, the freezer. Yeah. They know they make it on, on hand, so that's cool. Let me see. Not too sweet? No, it actually tastes taste, like ube. Tastes like ube? Yeah, not taro. Not taro, okay. Yeah. You can tell the difference between yeah. taro and ube? Because since taro is my, you know, the usual, I go to to one of those like other bubble tea places. And this one tastes like ube, actual ube. So nice. You got the bubbles down there below. Recommend it? Mm. 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 Perfect. Alright, Henry, here's my green tea. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Milk tea. No, Vern, you shook it. It's gonna it, explode on your gonna face. Explode in my face. Milk tea. You all know what milk tea tastes like, right? I'm assuming it tastes the same. Tastes like milk and tea. Yep. Milk tea. Just like a regular milk tea. <laughs> what can I say? It's pretty good. But I wanted the green tea. Yeah, she uh -oh. just misheard you, that's why. Yeah, I'll have to come back for that. Maybe try the brown sugar. I know brown sugar is going to be super sweet. But yeah, something I would never get. Yeah, but not bad for being a uh, homegrown drink. Yeah. Thumbs up. Henner, what'd you get? Uh, ube and matcha. Look, burn. Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Kisses. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could give someone a kiss, Henner. <laughs> <laughs> Not to burn it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. They're, it's very special matcha donuts. Usually donuts don't have those type of candy, like candies on top. Yeah. Their own little design to it. Mm -hmm. So that's the ube, right, Hunter? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's good. Sweet? Not too sweet. I like that it has coconut um, Topping. toppings on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love mochi donuts. Mm -hmm. They're softer than regular donuts because mm -hmm. they're. Uh, I think it's the type of uh, dough they make, right? Is it yep. rice dough they, or something? Uh, no, they, you know, when they make donuts, the dough they mix it with mochi, the mochi in it. That's why that what that what makes the mochi donut. They make the mochi into the the dough that, to make the donut. It's softer. As you know, mochi is that uh, you know that gooey, gummy um, candy kind, mm -hmm. and they mix it up with the with the with the, the dough, so which is makes it you know softer. Looks good, Henry. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Recommend that? Oh yeah. All right. And there's gonna save the matcha later. I also bought a whole box full, so including the ube. How come my ube doesn't? Maybe I got the taro one. That's the taro one. That's the taro one. Oh, maybe I didn't want to get the ube because I wanted to be different. <laughs> That's mango matcha. I think there's a peanut butter in there somewhere. The Reese's one is probably the peanut butter. Yeah, so uh, I'll bring this home. I like that little sign there. What's this one? Uh, I forget. <laughs> Does it look like the matcha? That's matcha. There's the mango, taro. Anyway, I'll read it up description and I'll give you guys a little uh, taste Isn't test there later. Nutella one? Yeah, there's a Nutella. That might be the Nutella. Yeah. So. That's the matcha, right, Hunter? Yeah, it's the matcha one. Mm. How is it? Good. 
I love mat I like matcha too. That's one of my favorite flavors. Mm. That and ube. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff, man. Super soft, chewy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna dig into some of my donuts. Very mochi. <laughs> All right, I'm home. Let's dig into some of these donuts before I bring it upstairs. More than just the donut, always near you. So I can always bring it to a friend that loves donuts. And yeah, let's go try one of these. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's try this mango first. Look at that. Look how um, yellow that is. There's some sweets on top. Looks like uh, cereal bits, right? That bite. Mm. So it does taste like mango. A little sweet to it. Um. Yeah. Soft, chewy, and uh, yeah, they look like a. Uh, like I said, like cereal bits, like um, candy kind of thing on top. So good guys, so good. All right, all right. I'll bring the rest upstairs for them to try because I want the kids to try it. They love mochi donuts and so do the adults. So let's try one more. Uh, I will try, I think this is the churro flavor. Yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, here we go. <laughs> this thing is on the way. I'm, I'm gonna avoid it for somebody to donut. Mm. Mm. It's good. I'll eat, I'll eat this little thick, I guess. <laughs> mm. Exquisite. These donuts are not cheap, by the way. Like $3 per, per donut. It's not your Dunkin' Donut player or Krispy Kreme. Almost like a Krispy Kreme donut. But um, I think these are a little better. I actually cut this in a little piece right here. Very chocolatey. Mmm, so good guys, so good. You don't want any donut? You sure? <laughs> She's eating the cereal off a donut. <laughs> but I recommend these donuts, they're really good. Do not eat the wrapper. Do not eat the wrapper, that's right. I don't want that. Do you want a piece of it? You want a piece? No, you're full? <laughs> so yeah. Not bad. I think they like what this. Is this. That's taro. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> Alright. What do you think, Henner? Mm, good. <laughs> yeah, so the drinks were good. I like the hot dogs, the corn dogs. I got the Half half. Henry got this full mozzarella. Yeah, it melted on me. So I had to scrape it off the, the container. Got some nice pulls out of there. Uh, donuts were good, right, Henry? Yep. Yeah, I love the donuts. Of course, right. the bubble tea. And the bubble tea, of course. Look at that. I might come back here, bring some friends, bring my family, and try more of the flavors, maybe more of the mochi donuts. I recommend them. I think it tastes just like the one in Edgewater. What's it called? Uh, I have no uh, idea. What's the name of the donut place? Forgot, but I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave it here somewhere. Oh, yeah, come here. Where is this center again? Fort Lee, New Jersey. Fort Lee. So, if you guys want some corn dogs, some drinks, some Korean food, well, Korean snacks, this is the perfect place to go. Yep. Anyway, Henry, last words. Yes, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Ding, ding, ding. See you guys. Bye. Bye.